The doth piercing is located on the inside of the ear. The bottom of the piercing comes through the ear canal and the top of the piercing goes through this ridge that's right above the top of the ear canal. I'm Rosemary and I'm getting a doth piercing today. I want to get a doth piercing because I have it on my right ear and it's my most complimented piercing. So I just want to get it done on the left ear, kind of just to match the sparkle it has. I have about four helix piercings on this ear, but it kind of doesn't do it justice, so the doth will look great in it. Total, I have 20 piercings. I think I kind of just want to run out of space until it stops looking good, but I don't think that'll happen anytime soon. I started getting piercings because I grew up in a Hispanic household where piercings were kind of looked down upon, and I was always the good child that my parents really thought I wasn't gonna do anything crazy. So when I turned 16, I started getting piercings just to show them they're just piercings. You could remove them at the end of the day. And it's just kind of to express yourself and that's what I've been doing for all these years. I'm Lucy Dahl. I'm a piercer at Aesthetic Ambition in Marina Del Rey, California. I've been technically piercing for five years, six years if you count my apprenticeship. So I've always been into the more alternative aesthetics for myself, especially when I was a little kid going online and seeing all sorts of cool people on there, colored hair, piercings, tattoos. Uh, so when I had the opportunity to get into the industry of performing those and getting to look like that on a daily basis, I was all in. So the doth piercing is located on the inside of the ear. The bottom of the piercing comes through the ear canal and the top of the piercing goes through this ridge that's right above the top of the ear canal. Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm gonna be helping you out today. So for your doth piercing, let's take a look at some jewelry. We've got some basic rings. We've got some opals, crystals, different colors, different shapes. Is there something you were kind of leaning towards? Um, I'm thinking opals today. Opals for sure, okay. We've got the circular blue one here, a little teardrop one here. It's one or the other calling out to you. I'll do the teardrop. The teardrop, okay, let's do it. Getting a doth piercing, is pretty painful since it is a big piece of cartilage, but I'm excited for it. Pain kind of excites me, so I'm ready for it. I am kind of nervous to see how it'll turn out. Maybe it'll be a little bit too much, but it's something, you know, that I'm excited for either way. So first I will prep Rosemary's ear. I use a sterile alcohol swab to do so. Once she is prepped and dried, I will go ahead and slide on what we call a size placement ring. Once that fake ring is in the proper position, I can mark where the ends of those rings hit the tissue. Once that's done and I have it all marked out, I'll remove the ring, wipe her down with some iodine and let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and don my sterile gloves. Once I do so, I can bend my needle so I use a pair of sterile ring bending pliers in order to bend the extra long needle here. I will bend it at basically a half circle in the front and a half circle in the back. So once I am all aligned and I'm ready to go, I will have Rosemary take a big deep breath in. She'll let it out nice and slow and we'll get that piercing through. Once it's done, it's pretty quick and um, I slide the needle all the way through, get the ring in, close the ring, pop her blue opal in there, and now it's time to clean her all up. And now it's time for the mirror reveal. All right, take a look. Oh my gosh, it looks great. Yay, Thank you so, so much. It is cute. Mm -hmm. I think it looks perfect. Yes, it yeah. complements the bottom opal so well. Yeah, it looks great. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it balances your ear really nicely, I think. Yes, thank you. Yeah, of course. It's so beautiful. It really complements everything so nicely and it just makes me feel so much better. I do recommend using a sterile saline one to two times a day, a little spray bottle, right? Yes. Yeah, so you'll spray the top and bottom after you shower, clear away crusty stuff, dry blood, things like that with a Q-tip. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you will um, touch it and twist it. Sounds good. Like thank Yay. you so much. Yeah, of um, course. The doth can be a little bit tricky to heal just because you are healing with a hoop. Hoops put natural pressure on piercings, so when you're just healing with that constant tugging, it can be a little bit of an issue, especially if the ring is too small, which I see very often. Also, if you wear earbuds, AirPods, earplugs, anything like that, you're not going to anymore if you get a doth piercing, just because the bottom comes right out in the ear canal, and if you were to put anything in there, it would put excess pressure, a non-sterile, 
object in there and that could just cause problems. When I was about to get pierced, I just think that it'll be over quickly. It's just a quick pain and then it's over with. And the result is amazing. When I looked at the finished result, I loved it. It just looks so great and it shines so nicely. Working with Lucy is such an amazing experience. She's such a good person and she makes you feel really comfortable. Rosemary was fantastic. I've seen her before in here. I've helped her change her jewelry, so she is a familiar face and it's always nice to see that. She kind of just wanted me to suggest some jewelry options, which was nice, and she was cool with whatever, which is always a nice, chill client to have. Pain-wise, it didn't hurt at all. It still doesn't hurt. It looks really nice, so it was really over with quickly. I know the healing process will take quite a while and I'm ready for it. I would love to see how long it takes just so I can get a new one quicker. I'm gonna make sure to clean it really well once a day just like Lucy instructed. Other than that, I'll leave it alone because I don't wanna mess with it. If you're afraid of needles, I would say just go for it. It's a quick and easy pain and you'll be done with it before you know it. 